Hi, this is John Lee of DarthFurby.blogspot.com, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a, a circle in perspective using a 12-point construction technique. And the first thing we're going to start off with is a square. And from what we know about circles is if you fit a circle perfectly within a square, the points where the circle and square meet are the exact midpoints of the sides of the square. So the first thing we're going to do is divide the square into four equal parts by drawing a diagonal connecting the corners of the square two diagonals rather, and the point where these diagonals meet is the center point of our square. So we're going to use that center point to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line through that center point. Oops, that's a little crooked. And the point where these horizontal and vertical lines hit the sides of the square, those are our midpoints. So we know, now that we have the midpoints of the sides of our square, we know that the circle is going to pass through this point here at the top, this point on the right, this point at the bottom, and here on the left. Now you can use these four points by themselves to draw your circle, but that leaves a lot of room for error, so we're going to plot more points by dividing our square into four equal rows and columns, and I'm going to start off by taking the square in the upper left corner, drawing a diagonal through it to establish another center point for this smaller square, and we're going to draw a line through that center point, vertically and horizontally, Assuming I can get it to pass through accurately. Ugh. There we go. I think that's a little better. All right, so that's our vertical line. And there's our horizontal line passing through the center point there. We just get a straight line here. There we go. So now, having drawn these two lines, the points where they pass this diagonal are the center points for those two smaller adjacent squares, and we're going to draw another line passing through those points. There we go, passing through this center point, this new center point we've just established. And so finally, we now have four columns and four rows of equal size. And we can use these columns and rows to plot out the balance of our points. And we do that by drawing diagonals through the outer columns and outer rows. So for example, let's start from the upper left corner of this row, draw a diagonal connecting to the lower right corner of that row, and the first line that this diagonal passes through is another point of our circle. Likewise with this column, upper left corner connected down to the lower right corner, the first line this diagonal passes through is another point of our circle. So let me plot those two, two points out so you can see a little bit more clearly. One here, one here, and uh, you can use this same diagonal technique to plot out the rest of the points for our circle. But I'm going to show you another technique that you can use. If we draw lines through these two new points that we've just plotted, your horizontal line and a vertical line through this second point, oops. Ugh. Dang, I wish this tool worked a little bit better. It's a little crooked, I think. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. So that gives us two more points for our circle. Let me show you where they are. There's one here at the top and one here at the bottom. <clears throat> and now, again, if we draw two more lines, these two lines that we just drew, where they cross the diagonal, is another point that we can use to draw out another line. If we draw a line passing through the intersections, we now have the rest of our points. So let me show you where they are. We now have a point here on the right side of this square, two points here, one, two and two points at the bottom of our square, which gives us in total 12 points to plot our circle. So you just play connect the dots and you have an accurate circle fitted perfectly within this box. And just to prove that this circle passes through all of these points, that a perfect circle passes through all of these points, I'm going to draw, take this oval tool, 
and show you that the circle passes through these points. There we go. So to draw this circle in perspective, all you have to do is draw your square in perspective using one point, two point, or three point perspective. Divide that square using the diagonal technique into four rows and four columns. And you can plot out your 12 points and just play connect the dots. And a circle in perspective is an ellipse. So this is great for drawing circles in perspective freehand. You don't need an ellipse tool, so it comes in very handy when you're out sketching um, complex forms without the aid of any tools. Anyway, I hope this tutorial proved interesting. Please check out my blog at darthfurby.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.